Hey guys, Fat Man Tolly. I have in front of me an SGB, a Puma SGB knife. This came from Flint and Steel Survival. He needed a holster and I needed a knife. So it worked out pretty well. We worked out a trade. Um, this is, I did open this already because, well, I had to. I couldn't wait. Uh, this is a pretty darn cool knife. In the package, it comes with a sheath. I am going to say the sheath sucks. Um, uh, comes with a nifty Puma SGB sticker. So we'll put that on the wall of fame along with, uh, Live for Wild sticker. He sent me a sticker for a wall. So, set that aside. My first impression of the seat sheath, aside from that it's not leather and it sucks. <laughs> the, you know, leather workers get a little jaded toward the Cordura nylon. But... It's not a bad sheath, really. The belt slot isn't overly big, but it's big enough to fit, you know, a good size belt in there or whatever you put it on. The knife. I was looking for something with the sharp bend in it here for skinning. And this is perfect. It's got Micarta scale. This is kind of reminiscent of one of the buck knives. I can't remember 113 or I don't know. I can't remember. It's a little reminiscent of that anyway. So uh, should be a cool one to make a sheath for. Um, the Micarta is beautiful. The brass on the front and the aluminum on the back seems kind of silly. They should have done both or of them one way or the other. Brass on both ends or aluminum on both ends. But the fit and finish is not too bad. Got an inlaid Puma SGB logo in there. Uh, this The model of this is the Wolverine. Better be careful or I'm going to cut myself. So this is the Wolverine. Um... 440 stainless steel. It's got the mark from the Rockwell testing. I wonder, do I have some paper down here? Paper. Would you believe it? I don't have paper. Look at this. I got some uh, manila folder. That'll work too. Um, a little harder to cut than paper. But it does. It's pretty darn sharp. Might take it to a strop just to clean it up. You know, there's a, I can I can tell that it's not a perfect edge. Um, but hey. We'll, uh, Clean it up with the strap a little bit and we'll be just fine. So look for this to be in a sheath video sooner than later. We'll make a sheath for it. Uh, I know Mike Delucia has got a knife similar to this that he's looking to make a sheath for and maybe it will be helpful to him. So check out Mike Delucia if you're not subscribed to him. Check out Flint and Steel Survival if you're not subscribed to them. I will leave links below. And until we get to the sheath making, God bless, stay safe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.